doing here in Zambia. I love the work that they do in the compounds for the children. And it's just amazing to see how enthusiastic the children are and how much this means to them and how excited they are when they see the cars coming. My experience here has been really very, very meaningful for me in lots of ways. The highlights are I will forget something, but I have really enjoyed going to the compound and it's been amazing getting to know the local Moana team and also being involved with the Tommy Tank setup. The mission is um, quite incredible. The, the outreach to the compound, the outreach to the children, the seeds that they're sowing, the joy that they're bringing is really brilliant and the people in Moana Mission are all very lovely and God-filled people. And, and it's been really amazing seeing how many children enjoy coming to these um, Moana Ministries. But the real highlight is, um, yeah, it's just those children. It's just them dancing and singing and um, being Showing the love of God is just, yeah, it's really moving. The, the Tommy time was really good to be using my creativity, um, choosing colours for the set, colour schemes, and um, doing the shopping was great. I was allowed to shop and paint, paint pictures and do colour schemes, use my creativity, and we painted the set to make the kitchen for Tommy time, and then we got to see how it was going. to work alongside the, the whole team. We just got on so well and got on with the job and uh, it was really fun learning how to build the set and to see how it was filmed and uh, yeah. Building the Tommy Time set has been interesting and um, having to change things about and making sure everything goes together and then picking the right outfits for the puppets to make sure that they don't blend in with the with the set and finding props and buying props and yeah. My biggest challenge was that I really am not confident standing up and speaking in front of the crowd so this has been very challenging but you know I think God has really kind of moved in me to help me just grow in confidence and the team is just so amazingly supportive that it's yeah, it was, it was easy to overcome and I really didn't expect that. The biggest challenge is probably... Um, probably coming somewhere without... Um, coming somewhere without any of like, my family or anything like that. This is the furthest away and I've been from them by myself and the longest I've been away from them. Maybe the biggest challenge is not getting any time on my own. Um, which I love, um, but I think I really enjoyed the little walks to the gate with the children. Challenges have been in having to prepare to come out to the compounds and do um, memory verses and Bible stories and um, learning action songs and being up front and doing things that we hadn't seen anybody else do before so we just had to muck in and do it. I've gotten a lot closer with God and I've also made a lot of really good friends um, while I've been here and I've fallen in love with Africa and I definitely want to come back. One was all the insects which we don't have in Scotland um, so I had to learn to overcome my fear and another challenge was getting used to different kinds of food. Um, but I loved it all. It's been really good actually. I think I think I was brave enough to try everything, even the caterpillar. <laughs> Okay.